the tradition of Visita Iglesia. The Seven Churches visitation is a pious Roman Catholic Lenten tradition to visit seven churches on the evening of Maundy Thursday. Following the Mass of the Lord's Supper, the Blessed Sacrament is placed on the altar of repose in the church for adoration. During the seven churches visitation, the faithful visit several churches, sometimes seven, sometimes 14, sometimes no set number, depending upon the particular practice to pray before the Blessed Sacrament in each church. Immaculate Conception Cathedral. Cubao Cathedral, formerly known as the Immaculate Conception Cathedral, is a Roman Catholic Church located in Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. It is the Cathedral of the Roman Catholic Bishop of Cubao, built in 1950 by the Society of the Divine Word, belonging to them until 1990, when the Archdiocese of Manila took over its administration. In 2003, it became the cathedral when the Diocese of Cubao was erected. Let us greet and adore the Lord in the blessed sacrament of this church. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. O grace and all thanksgiving, be every moment thine. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you lived with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray in silence for our personal and communal intentions. For the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The first station. Jesus celebrates the Last Supper. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Saint Paul wrote, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Therefore, whoever eats the bread 
or drinks the cup of the Lord unworthily will have to answer for the body and blood of the Lord. Jesus, we ask for the grace to value your sacrifice and your sacrament in the Eucharist. Heal our memories as we partake of your great memory. Forgive us for the many times we celebrated your memory without the proper disposition of holiness of life and reverence to your holy presence. Jesus crucified. By your wounds heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. The second station, Jesus agonizes in the garden. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To Peter, James, and John, whom Jesus privileged with gift of staying close to him. In his hours of agony, Jesus' master said, so you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. Jesus, thank you for teaching us to pray to God as Father. Pour on us your spirit of prayer so that we may persevere in prayer, even in dry and troubled times. Visit our prayers with your presence. Wake up our consciences and strengthen us for good works. Jesus crucified. By your wounds heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. Immaculate conception. Pray for us. The Sacred Heart Parish Shrine Kamunin. The Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish, Kamuning, is a Catholic parish in the Kamuning district of Quezon City in the Philippines. It was established on October 3, 1941. The parish has been in the pastoral care and administration of the Society of the Divine Word since even before its founding. About a year later, on October 1, 1941, the Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish was established and it has been in the care of the SVD missionaries since then. Today, the parish covers five barangays, Kamuning, Sacred Heart, South Triangle, Kristong Hari, Kalusugan, and part of Obrero. Let us greet and adore the Lord in the blessed sacrament of this church. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord our God, in this great sacrament, we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son. Born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation, may we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray in silence for our personal and communal intentions. Mm -hmm. 
for the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The third station. Jesus is tried before the Sanhedrin. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have been the Lord. In reply to the Council of Elders, chief priests, and scribes who asked whether he was the Messiah, Jesus said, If I tell you, you will not believe. Jesus, may I always come to you with humility and openness. Remind me that prayer is above all an opening to God. Remind me that prayer is not just talking to you, but discerning your ways and your will. Remind me that more than the pride of the will, it is the pride of the intellect that is more deadly. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God, have mercy on us. Fourth station, Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The Apostle Peter wrote, He committed no sin. When he was insulted, when he suffered, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He bore our sins in his body upon the cross. By his wounds, you have been healed. Jesus, you are indeed the good shepherd who so willingly lays down his life for his sheep. We lift up to you all our wounds of body and spirit. Touch our wounds with your precious blood and heal us. 
You are truly human, so you feel what we feel. You are truly God, so you can do everything. Nothing is impossible with you. Above all, enable us to draw meaning for our wounds by your example of being a wounded leader. Jesus crucified. By your wounds heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us. St. Paul the Apostle Parish. This community started as a quasi parish in 1978 under the patronage of St. Paul the Apostle. Parish work was initiated by laymen with the assistance of the RVM Superior of St. Mary's College. The quasi parish was originally supervised by the SVD priests of the Sacred Heart Parish in Camunin and later by the Sacred Heart Missionary Fathers. On September 21, 1979, the parish was established by the Archbishop Jaime Cardinal Sin. The MSC Fathers continued giving their services until April 16, 1980. The parish pastoral council successfully acquired a lot for the church on August 19, 1983. It was solemnly blessed and dedicated to St. Paul the Apostle on July 10, 1986. Let us greet and adore the Lord in the blessed sacrament of this church. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. Lord our God, May we always give due honor to the sacramental presence of the Lamb, who was slain for us. May our faith be rewarded by the vision of His glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray in silence for our personal and communal intentions. For the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. The fifth station, Jesus receives the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The beloved Apostle John empathetically wrote that when Pilate finally handed Jesus over to the Jews to be crucified, they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself. He went out to what is called the place of skull. In Hebrew, 
Golgotha. Jesus, even as you are God, you carried the cross yourself. Even as we pray for the healing of our wounds and afflictions in mind, body, and spirit, remind us that there, that there are pains that are part of this life's daily bread. Give us courage and a gentle spirit to carry these pains on ourselves without adding discomfort to others. Make us remember that earth is not our final perfection, but our pilgrimage. Jesus crucified. By your own seal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. The sixth station. Jesus falls under the weight of the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Although Christ Jesus was in the form of God, he did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even death on a cross jesus to follow us falling in weakness is not the end if we fall in meekness and humility and we never allow pride and bitterness to harden our hearts we can rise with gracefulness and with God's mercy, merciful grace. Human limits may bring us down, but we should never be overwhelmed and downcast. We should not yield to human despair, but to faith filled in the Father's merciful hands. Jesus, you are our way. Amen. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. Saint Paul the Apostle. Pray for us. The Holy Family Parish. The Holy Family Parish had its beginning in 1949 when Father Tomas Pacano, SVD, would celebrate Mass on a small chapel in Rojas District. Unfortunately, the chapel was destroyed by Typhoon Wanda in December 1950. On October 16, 1953, the place was made a parish under the patronage of the Holy Family. On April 10, 1966, was the start of the construction of the new church, and after two years, the church, which still stands today, was finished. Let us greet and adore the Lord in the blessed sacrament of this church. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. Lord our God, you have given us the true bread from heaven and the strength of this food. May we live always by your life and rise in glory on the last day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray in silence for our personal and communal intentions.
for the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The seventh station. Simon of Cyrene carries the cross of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The oldest gospel gives a very rich description of this event on the way of the cross. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry Jesus' cross. Jesus, we always pray that you visit us, that we see you. Help our human spirits with your Holy Spirit, so that we may have wisdom to see you. In unwanted interruptions of our schedules, and in unexpected visitors who disturb our comfort and rest. Forgive us for the times when we loved ourselves and our family members, and so there was no more room for you and for others. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, seal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. Jesus meets the holy women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you are the world. To the mourning women, Jesus said, Do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. Jesus you want us to see you in others. Your other name is others. You are identified especially with women and children. 
symbols of the least and the helpless. You yourself reminded us, whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you do it to me. Cure us of our narrow religious city, empty rituals and solemn piety. Inscribe in our hearts that the words of your Apostle James, who said, Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. Jesus crucified, by your wounds heal us, holy, strong, immortal God, have mercy on us, holy family, pray for us. The Santo Nino de Violago Santo Nino de Violago Quasi Parish is the latest parish to be erected in the Diocese of Cobal. It is used to be a chapel of Sacred Heart Parish Shrine of Camonin. It was canonically erected as Quasi Parish last September 9, 2019 by Bishop Onesto Ontioco, Bishop of Cobal. The administration is given to the Society of the Divine Word. One of the treasures of the new parish is the image of Santo Nino with its face made of ivory. Let us greet and adore the Lord in the blessed sacrament of this church. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All grace and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord, give to our hearts the light of faith and the fire of love, that we may worship in spirit and in truth our God and Lord, present in this sacrament, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray in silence for our personal and communal intentions. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Ninth station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Saint Paul reflected on Jesus this way. Though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. Jesus 
to serve and to save us, you had to be stripped of glory, be naked of any human dignity, be seen in shame and ignominy, cure our oversensitive selves that are so easily discouraged by insinuations and intrigues. Correct our false sense of service with which we love to serve for good feeling and recognition, but with which we easily withdraw when difficulties and false stories arise. Remind us that we cannot serve the way you did if we are afraid of appearing naked in our humanness and failures. Jesus crucified. By your wounds heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. The tenth station, Jesus addresses the repentant thief. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To the prophet Ezekiel, God reasoned out, I take no pleasure on the death of the wicked man, but rather in the wicked man's conversion that he may live. Yet your countrymen say, The way of the Lord is not fair. Jesus, strange indeed are your ways, and more than expected are your promises. Heal us of our fault-finding and condemning ways. Smash our pride and our selfishness. Let us measure our giving and forgiving not according to the goodness of persons, but according to your goodness to us. We lift up to you those whom we have condemned and judge in thought, in words, in action, and in our prayer request. To you and though you, I say, I forgive them, forgive them, forgive me too. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God, have mercy on us. Señor Santo Niño, have mercy on us. On Carmel Minor Basilica, the cornerstone of the Mount Carmel Parish in New Manila, Quezon City, was blessed on December 30, 1954. It was inaugurated by J. Rufino Cardinal Santos on July 16, 1964, on the feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. It was declared a parish in February 17, 1975, and as a national shrine on December 14, 2015. Let us greet and adore the Lord in the blessed sacrament of this church. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. Lord, may this sacrament of new life warm our hearts with your love and make us eager for the eternal joy of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray in silence for our personal and communal intentions. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. station Mary and John stand at the foot of the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world when Jesus was presented in the temple the old Simeon prophesied to Mary behold this child is de destined for the fall and rise of many a sign that will be contradicted. You yourself, a sword shall pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. Now this prophecy has come to pass. Jesus, your mission was shared by Mary and the disciples. We pray for friends and family members who share our ideas. We pray for friends and family members who share our ideas, ideals, initiatives, and struggles. Bless them as you blessed Mary and John. Bless them for the pains they bore for us. Bless them for the fights they fought for us. Double the joys they shared with us. Jesus crucified. By your words, heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. station Jesus dies on the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world thrice Jesus revealed that the cross is victory it is being lifted up so as to gain eternal life for believers it is being lifted up to glorify the Father. It is being lifted up to draw all to unity in Jesus. 
Jesus, many are we who sign ourselves with your cross. Many are we who call ourselves Christians. Many are we who call ourselves brothers and sisters in your name. But we are diverse and we differ. We differ as individuals. We differ in our ways and culture, in our language and beliefs. We differ in our emotions, in attitudes, reactions, and temperaments. We differ in intellect, in our views and interpretations of realities. We differ in our political opinions and options. We differ as churches and communities. We carry different names. We celebrate different rites and sacraments. We argue on our varied biblical and doctrinal views. We even highlight our different doctrines in the airwaves and television in the view of all. Words, our differences often divide us. We lift up to you these differences. Give us the spirit to see in them the richness of your gifts and creation. Give us the spirit to seek unity amidst our diversities. Draw us to all to you. Draw us as brothers and sisters under the shadow of your cross. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Pray for us. The Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. In 2005, Provincial Chapter, as resolution was a, a resolution was approved, namely to mandate the provincial aid to take steps for the erection of CKMS Chapel as a shrine or parish. The first step that the provincial aid took was to appoint an administrator of the CKMS Chapel to prepare the groundwork for its moving to become a shrine. After one year, on May 2006, Father Sabado turned over the administration of the proposed shrine to Father Atilano Corcuera, the latter having been officially appointed by the provincial to be the administrator of the chapel beginning in June 2006. On December 25, 2006, the Bishop, Most Reverend Onesto F. Ontioco, together with the SVD provincial, the parish priest, the rector of CKMS, director of the proposed shrine, and some other priests concelebrated in a mass participated by the lay groups of the shrine family. Within the mass, the bishop officially declared CKMS Chapel as Shrine of the Divine Word. Let us greet and adore the Lord in the blessed sacrament of this church. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. Lord, our God, teach us to cherish in our hearts the paschal mystery of your Son, by which you redeem the world. Watch over the gifts of grace your love has given us, and bring them to fulfillment in the glory of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray in silence for our personal and communal intentions. For the intentions of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever.
13th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your only cross you are redeemed, O Lord. We are reminded of Jesus' remark at the death of Jairus' daughter. Why this commotion and weeping? The child is not dead but asleep. Jesus, by your power and death, is not the end but a door to another life. But this is easier said than believed. In our hearts, we carry feelings of loss and mourning for dear relatives and friends who have died. We believe in you, but we miss them too. We miss their laughter, their stories, their hugs and kisses. Their mischief touch our hearts, lift from us the darkness of grief and death, and restore us to your joy and peace. Reserve our departed relatives and friends, especially those who are dear to us and who were good to us in your loving and healing light. Jesus crucified. By your wounds heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. The fourteenth station, Jesus rises from the dead. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The Apostle Paul teaches, We were indeed buried with Christ, through baptism into his death, so that just as he was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. Jesus, you are our life and resurrection. Amidst our various experiences of sacrifice and dying, keep us going. Let the power of your resurrection heal us from all that makes us feel all our hopelessness and our frustrations, our unbelief. We lift up to you all the events and memories of our lives that go with these feelings. For God's greater glory, let your resurrection keep us young that is optimistic, active, smiling, and receptive in the midst of all. Jesus crucified. By your wounds, heal us. Holy, strong, immortal God. Have mercy on us. Jesus the Divine Word. Have mercy on us. Horatio Imperata. God our Father, we come, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has deserved and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God, 
Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold and Joseph. Pray for us. Lord Jesus Christ, obedient servant of God, you became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore, the Father has highly exalted you. He raised you from the dead and exalted you at his right side in the glory of heaven. We adore your cross. We praise and glorify your resurrection. By the wood of the cross, joy came into the whole world. We praise your cross. Because in your cross is life and resurrection. In your cross is salvation. In your cross is strength. In your cross is victory. In your cross is hope. In your cross is forgiveness. In your cross is justice. In your cross is freedom. In your cross is peace. In your cross is reconciliation. Lord Jesus Christ, lifted up on the cross. Draw all people to yourself. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have given us Jesus Christ, our Savior, as the model of humility. He fulfilled your will by becoming one of us and giving his life on the cross. Help us to bear witness to you by following his example of suffering for the good of the whole world and make us worthy to share in his resurrection. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.